the old rig the original semi not too bad i also own a farm here we go You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. We are back. We're gonna try to pull ourselves out. Um, yeah, not ideal. It's just all part of it. I do not like these tires. I was hoping they'd be a little more aggressive, but this trailer weighs a ton. So if we don't see, <laughs> this trailer GVW is 120,000 pounds. Um, but over here it says a hundred, so I don't think it's re it's registered for a hundred, but factory rating is 120. Three axle land all. It is heavy, and then uh, previously they went through and actually, so where there is a cross member going across, they added a cross member every one because they were hauling heavy. So trailer trailers overkill for anything I ever need, but. Yeah, it's worked out pretty good for us. So, we'll get this pulled out. I'm gonna drop the trailer out there in the back where the plows were. And uh, that way it's on solid ground. Get the manure tra truck on. Well, we gotta grease some things in the rear end, check the oils, stuff like that. Airline hooked up. I wiped my face already, but we made a mess. It's got some air in it, water in it. I hit that. We gotta make sure they drain out, but as we see this tire's a little, ah, oh, you got the wrong one. As we see this tire's a little low, I'm gonna get filled up before we try pulling it. I was hoping that would work, but clearly it will not. Just being so heavy on the trailer and uh, not much weight on the drives, they're spinning. The trailer's just sitting down there. See if we can tug it forward just a little bit. Somebody was in it, it probably would have pulled a little easier, but it almost didn't want to come out. Um, yeah, we got some tension on there. We gotta get a rope for this here. Well, let's see if I can get myself moving. Unhook the chain, send it over there, send it that way. Probably won't be able to steer. I do have to do a little thing on this trailer, which we'll, if we can get it out, we'll do that. It moved, but not far enough. Okay. Sloppy mess. What a friggin' mess. But corn head cart is uh the head should be on the cart but we can't get over there because as you see it's messy when you back this thing up it just spins combine needs some work this spring well summer so let's move this out of the way then we can pull it the rest of the way
now here's my problem. I'm gonna hit the corn head. I was looking for my blue parrot and uh, couldn't find it. Found it in the combine. So, only thing I could think of was lift the head up high enough so that technically we can drive through it. Uh, drive underneath it or whatnot. Yeah. Combine did fire up, it just can't move because the hydro has that leak and so there's no fluid in it. So that is on the list this summer. Nice warm day. We'll pull all that out, get it sent out, checked, rebuilt. And then we know what things we gotta go through the combine for 2024 to make it work the way it should. My biggest worry is if this starts rolling. So we're gonna see if it wants to roll. If it wants to move by itself, instead of it running into us. Which I think this bumper, as long as it hit right, <laughs> would be okay. But lifting it up was our only option, otherwise we were gonna destroy that head. I tried pushing the back. That did not work out. Yeah, just dragging it through the mud, making a friggin' mess. Wow. It's gonna dry out. <sighs> well, we're stuck. <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna hit this truck. This truck's gotta get out of the way now that we got the other truck running. But it's gotta dry out so we can push it around. Go park it somewhere out of the way. I also got an air leak, which we gotta figure out what that is.
well, we hit uh, our little berm here and uh, tires went sideways, so let's uh, get that cleaned out. Pull a little bit more. We cleared the truck. Okay. Okay. We're good. So I was just gonna... I was just gonna unhook the trailer, but there's a few things on the trailer we gotta do. Um, soft tire in the back, and if you guys remember, this uh, panel, the bolts broke out, and the panel dropped down, so the panel's actually in the shop. We just gotta put some new bolts in it. Probably should do both sides, to be honest. Um, and the winch does not work, the motor. We do have a spare motor. I don't know if the spare motor's any better, but... We got to figure that out before we have to go on a recovery mission someday in our life. So I'll get it pulled over here. We're going to mess with it. 10 out of 10 will never get these tires again. Granted, I got them used. They're retreads. They're not great. Um, yeah, the lugs don't clean out. The ones that are on that we, we got um, on the R model, those are pretty good. I've liked them. Somebody said you won't like them. They don't clean out, but so far they've been good. So in here We got holes that go up through every corner. I got to get some mud out of there and then uh, This plate's been sitting here. So when we went to get the green truck that ripped off But this plate is sitting here. So we'll clean it up put some silicone put some bolt holes Through it and be good to go Silicone around the bottom water can get in it's just part of it. They had a rack up top here, but they tried to fill it and bought silicone it We'll throw it in. We're already using some of the hardware making things happen um, Yeah, I should be able to Get myself up in there. That was not from me um, When it ran into it What is from me is that these lines are crooked So we just got to be Ooh, that should probably get replaced before it blows out someday from when the red truck ran into this trailer loaded with fertilizer well, all righty let me uh i am jamming out to music today it is it's not warm warm but it is nice enough that i'm feeling good today it should be a good day and these bolt holes are not square oh i just realized that um all right how does this go then Trial and error. None of them are square lined up. Probably shouldn't have siliconed it first. I can't see the other side, which doesn't help either. So I can only go one of two ways. So that one just had a hole through it. The other three still have the nuts on the top um, that I believe are welded right to it, which is not good because, well, they're broke off inside of it. Um, so what I got to do is torch those out and then, yeah, we'll just put hardware up through. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. It's hoping though. I should drop the trailer and just pull the truck forward, make my life easier, but we'll get it. But that doesn't mean I should just pull the plate out. Went ahead and torched all the nut heads off. Hopefully we're good. Checked and drilled all the bolts back out. Hopefully we're good. And uh, we'll throw the plate back on. Hopefully we're good. <laughs> There's a lot of hopes there. Um, yeah. I don't think this is the original plate. I see other bolt holes in here. Like it used to go somewhere else. And then they, they probably already did this once. So Adam, did this trailer do this once? 
If you see Adam, we'll write in the comments. Because uh, he's a big fan of watching along. And he's a big fan of Vivor. And he really made it happen for this trailer for me. So, And he grew up a farm kid. So he knows. He knows what's up. I do not know if this is going the right way or not. So either it's going the right way or we got to flip it around one. It's going to be a little challenging to get my hands in there. I drilled the wrong hole. That's okay, we got it. Now we got all this room for activities in here. Woo! So all of these straps pretty much that are underneath here. I'll get them rolled back up. They all go in there. Um, we got binders and stuff like that, but if we go over to the other side, and yes, we got a letter this truck. I got DOT numbers for it, but I don't have, I didn't have them do up the, this side's got to get a little love. We're just going to rattle can some stuff onto that. Yeah, this side's got all the chains, which we're going to have to take this out because I believe this marker light and that marker light are not attached to nothing. Um... That is what I do believe is the problem. So we'll do that. I'll get all those chains out, get them on the trailer, get them sorted. Make sure we have a ratchet and a binder. Probably oil the ratchets. Okay, we had three chains and one, two, three, four, five, six binders. So that would not have worked out so well. So we got to throw some chains back in here. When we purchased this trailer, um, we actually equipped this with everything and the gooseneck with everything and slowly they disappear like ones on the back of the tractor because we just pulled it out um but these are different those are different sizes i never realized that so i'm gonna go ahead oil all these while they're out screw them all the way in because they go in and out a lot easier we'll get every chain that we need in here um i'm gonna change the bolts on right here as you see those are bad and yeah our wiring got ripped out um frankly because i don't know how i can run this better um so this corner light doesn't work that light back there doesn't work because nothing's attached so we got to go ahead and get all that figured out yeah oh there's a up top there's a holder is there another one Ooh. There's a bolt. There's that one holder there. Okay, we're gonna get it better. I'm messing around here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some washers along the top of this so the wires run across. That way when we're putting chains in and out, we're not dragging them. That's how that ended up like that. So we'll extend that, get it up out of the way. That'll be good. Some people have told me I should paint this red to match all the other trucks. This is a white truck, stay in white. Um, Yes, it's it's beat up and the paint's horrible and we're going to leave it that way because this is a farm truck, 100%. But I was wondering why this side always peeled and I started pulling off all the Bondo that somebody put on it and that's why it wasn't sticking. But there's, it looks like bullet holes to be honest. Like somebody sh shot at it. They didn't go through, but I, I can't think of what else would make a, I don't know. So, I don't know, this came, it went from Tennessee to Ohio and then to me. So I'm the third owner on this. I have the original uh, title, or I had the original title before I transferred it over because, uh, yeah, it was this little handwritten thing from Tennessee going to Ohio. It, it was wild. So, but I figured I'd get this somewhat done. So we might throw some fiber or some Bondo on that, smooth it down so it can get painted so we can put um our decals on the side of it because it's got to get ready for that so this is what i ended up doing we welded some washers up and around across the top and over i could not get one on the back wall because i can't hold it and weld it i don't know where my triangle magnet went so i got to do some digging on that it was out here i just don't know where it ended up but that will allow me to keep these cords out of the way um but we got to rewire um, we need more more cord. We need it out of the way. We don't need it pulled out. So what we'll do We got to cut that one zip tie that's in there and uh, Just wire up some 
plug should still be good. So we got a plug there. Um, and this cord goes out to, um, yeah, there's another plug over here. So I don't know, we gotta, yeah, I just showed you some of the spots. That's just surface rust. It's a, a thin piece of metal on the corner, thinner. And then it goes into the square. So at some point we gotta clean some things up. But... Well, we got it gone. So I rewired up and over. Got it all wired in the back there so nothing's gonna pull it out. Got the lights sticking out right now just to check. Redid back there, taped up. Pretty much a new wiring harness. There's one thing on this truck. I'm pretty sure the marker lights don't actually go to the back right now. We gotta do some cleaning. But if you see, I think it's this wire is our marker lights. That is, this wire right here is our field lights. So we gotta wire all this stuff in correctly. But uh, I don't, I think I stole a jumper or a fuse. And I actually got a box of fuses the other day. Good thing I did, what are these, 20 amps. I might have, I don't think I have fuses in here for some reason. We got the old, oh no we do. Nope, that's empty. See, you always gotta have some glad hand seals. These are the old fuses that are underneath the dash. Can of ether. Pair of ice grips that don't work that came off the fertilizer trailer. Yeah. Fencing pieces. I don't know. But this is the wiring mess that is behind the, this old girl. 19... It says 77 on that. Oh, yeah, it's a 78. It's uh well, it's a, yeah, sold 78. 3778. 80, I don't know. Manufacturing date was 112877. So, International Harvester Company. Yeah, for you international people. So, let me uh pop this out. I remember I had to jump that. We were we were leaving somewhere last year and I had no when we were daily driving this, which this year we will not be daily driving a silage truck or, or the white truck. That is not our plan. So marker lights, plug that back in. Put the fuse, oh, we should pinch that down a little bit. Put the fuse back in, or put a fuse back in. So we're good there. Um, yeah, we just gotta wire the, the field lights into a switch or something. That'll happen at some point here. So if we turn the key on, we turn the lights on. We don't have lights. I don't know why we don't have lights. <laughs> Do we have lights up here? Yeah, marker lights are on, headlights are on. Interesting. Everything's wired together. Oh, now we have lights. So something's messed up with this wire or something. Um, okay. Oh, no, it's on now. Oh, yeah. So we got to do something different here. A little emery cloth. And now, as you see when we hook it up, Lights work. Lights work over there. Oh, we got the, oh, those were not off. Lights work all down the trailer. Someday we're gonna update them to LED. Lights just brighter. I wish this trailer had more. It's just part of it, but. Alrighty. So that was a quick fix, look at that. We should get a different whole fuse panel bracket and like some of these wires, who knows where that went and who knows. Getting that dried down, uh, yeah, we got a little bumps where those holes were. I don't, I don't think those are bullet holes, well, bullet dents, but it is kind of weird that there's two of them, and I'm sure there's another one or something there, so. Pulled out all the chains I could find around. I know I got more somewhere. Um, 
I don't know how many are actually in the gooseneck. I'd like six on the on here, because usually you got four, three or four as well. You're supposed to have four as hold down points. Um, and then if we got two more, then that's good. Other side will have straps in it. So right now I have five and I got, no, I have four chains and six binders. So we'll do a little rearranging, but lubricated them all up, made them all nice and good. Got them all sprayed down and, uh, I'll throw those in there and we're just going to mess with that winch and see what we can come up with it. So, and then we're going to drop the trailer. I was going to park the trailer out there. I think I'm going to park it over here. I have a feeling if I tried backing up out there, we're just going to get stuck right now. There we go. We got them all organized up in there. And then if we go around the other side, I ended up putting five straps. I know it's windy. We got five straps rolled up in there, and then we got all the ratchets. I got a little one right there, just in case. But what we got to do now is really figure out on um, this winch. What is going on? Um, there is a motor on the side here, and I believe it just leaks out of the motor um, when we run it. So when they ran these trailers, they took the winches off. They were sitting in storage. Seals could be bad. Uh, so at the end of the day, that could be our issue. But I got a spare of a full winch. And I believe Adam did say he thought one was good and one was bad. He wasn't really sure. I don't know if you ever said that or not. I, I feel like we had this conversation. So when we tried to go rescue my pickup by myself, when it was dead, I tried using the winch and couldn't do it. So I had to hook a chain to the truck to the trailer or from the tractor itself to the pickup truck and pulled it on that way which a bunch of people did say nobody offered to help you as everybody drove by in a truck stop parking lot no people nowadays don't do that but alrighty, what well, i'll get it started we'll run that winch and see exactly what goes on and then we'll probably go grab the sparrow okay so we got the winch in and out I don't think that's engaged yet because it was aired down some. Let's give it a minute. There it goes. Yeah, see it's leaking. Where is it leaking? It's leaking out of the seal of the pump itself. So there's a bolt hole there and one on the other side. No point in messing with it. We'll grab the other one. If they both leak, then we'll have to get one rebuilt. But uh, it's nice when you got a big winch and you got to drag something on. Huh. Hasn't dried out at all. It actually is drying out today, but I think we got more rain coming, which is good. Well, no, it's good it's drying out. We don't need more rain, <laughs> as we all see. Uh, left the 27 out here because I figured we were going to have to grab that other winch and uh, we'll grab it all up from the other side. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of spare parts still over here. So if you didn't know that, we have a full cutter housing, which is uh, all of this is used parts for some reason or not. But uh, yeah. So this one was just cut off, which makes me really worried. <laughs> I think I took that end off so I had the size. We got Allen wrenches, which uh, I wish I had really super long ones. Something on my list in the toolbox and I just thought about it. Do we have the right size? Uh, that is tight though. Yeah, if we had some long ones, it would have been better off, but... What is going on there? Ah, oh, yeah, three eighths. Is this thing gonna flip over on me? Are they gonna move? Ooh, they might not move. Ooh, probably gonna put the gun on those. Oh, that is not good. <sighs> 
take that line off to get to that one. Ooh. Yeah, this trailer's a 20, a 2000, and those have probably never been off. So they are 24 years old. Okay, get the cheater bar here. That's been awesome. No more smashing hands and stuff. Okay, that's off. Oh, we gotta clean that out. I figured. Oh yeah, put the big gun on it too. Well, the medium. I had the stubby. But I grabbed the big one. It's what it needed. So now we know what to do. Um, I take it that just sits against it. It's not actually part of it. And we just gotta, yeah, just pry it apart. I'm legit bending this top plate, trying to separate it. So I'm not, I'm not so sure on some of this. Uh, yeah, half inch, might be a little bit of overkill. Okay, I was thinking, I was like, oh, if only I knew a way to look into this. Um, that was parts, books, and stuff like that. It came out of somewhere. So, I've talked about Adam before. I don't think you were ever on the channel. Maybe in the backgrounds. Um, hell of a good job. Like, he is very meticulous with stuff. So hydraulic dovetail, we got the full parts breakdown. Landall, Landall parts manual, plus anything that's gone. I think this has all the records in the back. One of them has all the records. Ooh, what's this book? Operator thing. Never actually looked. Um, parts list, parts manual. So let's see in this manual. Oh, dang, I didn't get the remote control one. Can we upgrade? Yeah, we don't need the remote control one. Let's see if we have, holy smokes, a picture of the winch. Probably look in the front. So here it is without that top plate over it, but there's nothing. It's a 12, 15, or 20K, one of two. And then all of a sudden you go to the next one, these are kind of the same in both books. And yeah. Really doesn't have any X. Oh, right here. So that should just pop out based off that. Two bolts. What is that? What is 13? Oh, right. Hmm. What is 20? Cap screw socket, four and a half inches long. Okay, so there's a bolt right there that goes well, this is four inches long, so it must go in there just a little bit. Wow, if only I'd paid attention to this to begin with. No wonder it didn't move. Oh, oil coming out's a good thing, because there's oil inside of that. <laughs> there's valves that go across and then go back up that lubricate that I believe because I can see there's o-rings right here that go in and out and there's an o-ring with the drain piece here okay hmm interesting maybe that o-ring is just bad on that other one and it's dumping fluid out and then not keeping anything but that's not that's not mess with that it's much easier with uh, it not in there, I'm gonna tell you that. So I put this in at Frank's 
and it took quite a bit of effort to get it in there but um yeah well if we had just thought about reading the owner's manual before we did all this well it's not even the owner's manual the parts book before we did this it would have made a lot more sense and i was wondering if there was something up top and then just didn't make sense i didn't take that off but it makes sense now because there's o-rings that go between there because it lubricates something in between i don't know how it works but Ooh. We have a five gallon bucket of oil underneath the, and it's already about full. That's not good. I did not expect that. Oh. Well, it's getting a flush. We're not going down this rabbit hole. We're gonna either pull the whole winch out or we'll do this on a rainy day or something. Um, I'd kind of like to get that one rebuilt or get this one rebuilt. That one might have some dings out of it from trying to get it off with that, with this bolt in it. This one does not want to come out. This, we got everything except for this out, which on the other one, it didn't fight us. So <sighs> rounded right off, switch to a five. Spins in a five. 5.5 5 is too big. I don't want to heat it. I might, now that it's hooked back up, I honestly might run the winch in and out and see if uh, it'll jar that a little bit, and then maybe it will come out. Otherwise, we're going to go drop this trailer over there and go on with our day. I don't know if this is going to help or work or make it work better. Nope. Made it worse. Alrighty. So at some point we either got to slide that forward so we can weld on to the end of that. Um, or we got to do something. Uh, I probably should have just switched full winches and called it good. But this cable, I think, is better than that cable. That's why from just sitting it was less rusted up and whatnot. But it's definitely, as you can see, well, we got it loose now. And it's just pumping fluid out. So it's not trying to spin. It's just blowing out of the front seal. Runs through all the tires. We're good there. Um, got the Mac actually started. What I'm gonna do is pull the Mac forward. We're gonna throw the 75 on the disc. That way it's out of the way. We don't have to, we don't have to move the land all again. Um, hopefully it will just go on. And then that's our next thing for the 7520 to work on. And we gotta build a hitch for the back of it. Let me get the Mac out of the way. We still got a few things on here. We got parts coming Monday. I was hoping I jacked it up enough, but I didn't. We did turn the jack over. We got the hammer strap on right now. I'm gonna leave it like that, uh, strictly because if we gotta put the dump wagon on or move something, move that. But when we go back to tillage, we'll take that off. So on these discs, um, bought them last year, sight unseen online auction. They were supposed to be 24s. They're actually like 28, 30s. Um, the back hangs out a little more than the front by like almost three and a half feet. It is what it is. We're going to run the 24 foot baskets behind it. Um, we'll see how it lines up to a trial run. Otherwise, we'll run it behind the tractor itself. Um, as far as the disc, we got one broken spring underneath. We got to fix this shaft here, um, which we welded because it broke. I'd like to get the right springs. I should go through and put new blades on, but I know they're going to get beat up really, really bad. And I'd like to get one more year out 
So this one here on the outside, that's gonna get a new one. And that outside's gonna get a new one. Otherwise, we got some that got some dings and stuff like that. It's just part of it. Um, scrapers are halfway decent, stuff like that. Good disc, but honestly, I don't want 28 foot discs for what I'm doing. Um, we'll probably keep them as a spare or whatnot, but I'd rather, I'd rather have a set of 24 foot um, or 22 foot that, what are you guys doing? You eat all your hay or you make a mess? I'll give you some more in a second. They've been growing pretty good. Um, still have yet to remember to look at that over there where it's sparking but um, I'd rather a set of 22s or 24s that we can uh, pull with the 46 and uh, have as a, well, be more flexible. These worked out good. They were priced very good. Brian Brock moved them for me, picked them up from him. They're just moving them there a little big um, as far as ever going on a trailer but Alrighty, I think this rolled back now. Ooh. Maybe we don't have to move it. It's not in park, so. No way is that fence on. You're not supposed to be able to do that. That means the fence isn't on. It's on. Do we kill the power over here? All right, I'll give them some food. I gave them food this morning, but they're eating more and more. You guys just being picky? I think it's shorting like down below. Oh no, I see where it's shorting. Right here. All right, I'm shutting it off. Don't scare them, I'll go this way. Huh, we gotta bed them a little bit, but they're looking pretty good. Somebody asked me why I haven't bed, haven't been feeding in here. Um, it's just inconvenience. So, at some point we will get back to the silos, but for right now we're good. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Always remember to unplug your electric fence. If you guys don't remember, it hurts. Hey, Michael, what are you doing in here? What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, so that crossover piece that grounds out, that makes sense why it's doing it. So that should be like that. And uh, over here I had one little bit. So they're locked in down here, just, I don't like cows and mud, and I, dra and I don't like them. And we got some, they, they've dug these up out of the ground, which I did not know were actually in the ground for a long period, but we see right here this is our ground wire that is our bottom wire so how this fence works is it's four hot wires and then we got a bottom ground wire so everywhere it's got good ground everywhere they fence this very well we just gotta do some upkeep on it this year no longer doing it we did disconnect so it doesn't go up and around because we got to do some work there but Fed them a little bit more. Let's uh, wrap up what we're trying to do. Now they're doing hot laps. What's up? No more grounding over there.
I can hear it grounding over there though. We gotta go around and do all of it. How did I plumb that backwards anyways? I guess that's where we're gonna leave it. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit more room. It's just such a heavy trailer and the second you don't have any weight on the front, it's goodbye. So, I did lose the jack down piece, which we gotta figure that out. I wanted to push back further so we could get through this gate, but we'll be okay. Well, when we lost that floor, I think we lost our pin that goes through there because that was in that floor then it disappeared. So I need that and I need to cut the zip ties off my knife over here. So we'll get, I guess we'll put bolt through that. Now that we got all the extra bolts, makes it convenient. Had a little clip, we'll have to get one of them. We gotta get a air valve for that. That's our trailer. Let me throw some grease on that fifth wheel and we're gonna go grab that other, we'll pull the other trailer out. And uh, that might do it for today's video because I gotta, I gotta run and get some things. But now that I said that, we might end up like stuck, stuck out back. Which if that's the case, I'm just calling it a day anyways. Oh, that's just our lock valve. Let me throw some grease on this before we slide underneath that. We will have to run through everything on the truck. We should be good here. We can replace the front one. We gotta grease everything. Check uh, diff levels. Check hydraulic oil. Well, overall, this truck just does its thing, to be serious. Been a quick minute since we've been in here, right? You want your window down? I'm sure there's a lot of smells of things and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go get not stuck. I was worried we were gonna get stuck there. Um, not a lot of load on it. Not really sure why this is open. Must have been looking for something. Um, yeah, should be able to hook up, pull it out front. Just do a walk around real quick. I'm sure we gotta open the drain, which I don't know why it was not open. That's on me. I think we got a spare set of tires for this too. So, yeah, the old rig, the original semi. That's gonna do it for today. So tanker's on, we're gonna do some mess with that, make sure everything works, get everything greased up, good to go. Then we gotta dive into the truck a little bit and we got the disc to do and the planter. We should be good. So Bondo's drying, I did a little bit of sanding, but. It ain't gonna be great, as we know. Uh, alrighty, Hanko's ready to go in. He's been waiting on dinner, but I'm gonna go take him and we're gonna go hang out and enjoy the beautiful weather a little bit. It almost feels like spring's gonna be here, but I know it's gonna get cold a little bit again, and, but I wanna be ready to rock and roll with this truck. The other truck's ready to rock and roll. We will see if we get into some hauling this week. 
or not coming up today is Saturday. Tomorrow's St. Patty's Day. Wow. Huh. Yeah. 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 And we'll have parts for that truck, so we'll get that going. But we're a ways away from getting any silage chopped. But all part of it. Appreciate you guys watching along. We're going to enjoy the last few. I don't know if we got 30, 40 minutes of sunlight. But it's gorgeous out. Mother Nature's spoiling us right now. So. See you guys on the next one. Have a good one.